Hey everyone, my name is Garrett Kirkland, sophomore on the men's basketball team, and I'm here to interview men's basketball alum Tyson Lyles in the Mavs alumni spotlight. So just a couple quick questions, bro. Like, why'd you choose Mercy? Um, I chose Mercy because I had a couple of advisors at the time. Mm -hmm. um, it was a coach named Eric Fogel, uh, rest, in, rest in peace, and um, another guy named Tippy McTurnan, mm -hmm. um, still a guy. They just, you know, advised me after JUCO to maybe stay close to home and it'll be better for like, you know, the afterlife of the pro career. Yes, sir. Why did you study? Oh, what did you study at uh, Mercy? I studied business of sport management at Mercy. Got you. Who was your favorite professor and why? My favorite professor? You got, you got to like think back on that. Damn, um, I'm going to say... I'm going to say uh, this guy named Don Lowe because we still keep in contact to this day. Yeah. He's like a real big supporter of mine. And even during the season while I was there, he was always real cool about like me being in his class and letting everybody know I played basketball. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what, did he, what did he teach? He was a, um, a speech teacher. Speech teacher. Gosh. Yeah. We also played the guitar. So I believe he was also a musician instructor as well. Okay. That's yeah. Um, yeah. what was your foundest moment at Mercy? Like, what was like your like, like best moment at Mercy? My uh, best moment. <laughs> um, hmm. it, it could be basketball or in school. It doesn't matter. Like, what, what was your foundest moment? <laughs> um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say basketball. I'm keep it basketball. Yeah. Because okay. um, it was a game that we we were playing at the uh, the G League at the Knicks Arena. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it was a game that I hit the, the game winning layup and it was like insane. Like the energy in the gym was crazy. It was like a lot of love. Um, never, I haven't experienced anything like that yeah. yet since then. So I'm gonna say, yeah, that game winner. Got you. Um, who had the biggest influence on you during your athletic career at Mercy? And, and um, how? I'm mm -hmm. going to say, uh, uh, coach Webb and Coach Boyd, the, they were a part of the coaching staff my junior year. Mm -hmm. Both of them were um, assistant coaches. Um, coach Webb was the only coach that that I had a part of my life that had played professional basketball. Yeah. And um, he was someone that I could go to just about anything regarding learning about basketball or um, regarding time management because, like, you know, he was about 6'4", and he seen me as, like, an undersized guard. He was always yeah. believing in me and always Trust. instilling, like, you know, that confidence. Even before every single game, he would always come to me and say, you know, this is this is what you work hard for, right? Yeah. Like, every single every single game. So it was just, like, a healthy reminder all the time. Got you. That's good stuff. Yeah. Um, what is the most valuable thing you've gained or learned at your time at Mercy? Um, this is something that I, I say a lot to like my friends around me and people, other people around me, acquaintances. Yeah. I'm gonna say it's um, where I learned, Mercy was where I learned, um, no, Mercy was where I got my first test of how much I believe in myself. Um, I wanna say that because I had a really, really hard time with my head coach. Um, and at first he seemed like he really liked me, but like, you know, as the season progressed my senior year, things kind of changed, not sure why, but um, just not going too deep into that subject. Yeah, I had yeah, yeah. to remember to, believe in myself no matter what. So after leaving for Mercy, I carried that lesson with me. Of course, there are other, ba other battles, you know, in my life that continue yeah. to show up, but that self-belief has always been something that I could look back on and, you know, channel some energy from. Got you, that's real stuff. Um, what advice would you give to a, a current athlete? Like what kind of like insights would you give us like whether you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, like something that like you can you can give us that like will like benefit us. I would say time management is key. Um, also, like I said, I'm always gonna revert back to self confidence yeah. and having multiple outlets of healthy habits to healthy habits to keep you happy. Mm -hmm. Another one would be. Um, to just have a healthy, another healthy outlet of somewhere to recharge. You know what I mean? Like sometimes, you know, basketball is, basketball is everything, you know, but when basketball isn't a place that you can go to, and what you know, for that healthy charge, that that's why I used it for myself growing up. But like yeah. 
when it's some place that you can't find that healthy place to be in, sometimes you need something else. Like for me, I like to meditate. Now I find meditating is like, you know, helps me recharge and reading yeah. and sometimes just going for a walk or just, you know, just, yeah, playing a video game, anything yeah. to get my mind, like, you know, just on you. something else to just make me happy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Um, have you ever been back to Mercy in the past couple of years? Like, have you seen like, like the new facilities, like the new gym? Have you been back to Mercy? No, I haven't. I've seen, I've seen all of the bro, pictures. Bro. <laughs> it's crazy. The gym is like, cause like, I remember like, um, cause like this gym is like fairly new. So like, I think y'all were playing like somewhere else. And like now, like the gym like is nice. Like we have a big cafe. We have a, yeah. a lot of different things here. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's what's up, man. I'm happy <laughs> <to y'all. laughs> um, okay. Now, now this is a personal question for myself. So, okay. um, could you explain like your daily life overseas? Like, what do you, Cause like I hear different, like, cause like different areas have different things. So like, could you explain mm-hmm. like where you, where you're playing right now and like, what's your like daily like workout? Like what's your routine up, like up there? Okay. Um, so my, my, it's, it's crazy because I played pro. This is my second year, like officially playing pro. Yeah. Um, last year I played on a team that was two levels lower than this level. Mm-hmm. Um, and the schedules were like night and day, like, it's, this level is way more organized. So like my schedule here, um, basically we practice um, two times a day. Um, so I wake up in the morning. Um, the first thing I do is I meditate and then I pray. And then I go cook breakfast, you know, just and I listen to some motivational things like, you know, to get my mind right. Yeah. Um, a lot of a lot of uh, positive affirmations. And um, after that, you know, I bike ride to practice. Probably mm-hmm. it depends on what my coach has scheduled for us. Usually the first practice is a lot of individual work, um, a lot of defense getting shots up. The second practice is usually when we go live. But before the second practice, we have um, weightlifting. So we usually lift like about three or four times a week. So it's like first practice, lift, and then, you know, second practice. And then, you know, after the end of the second practice, I usually get home usually like around this time so this is I got home a little early today so yeah got some time to myself <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so like, I usually get home maybe um play Call of Duty or something or I speak to my fam like once a week like I try to give them some space enough away from me as well so I can like you know do my thing and and yeah it's just I probably I meditate twice a day but I don't meditate the second time until like I'm about to go to sleep yeah I got you and yeah this, so this is the last question. So is there anything else you'd like, like to add personally or professionally that like you would like want to give us like some insight to? Yeah, um, same thing as I said before, I revert back to it's um, belief in thyself and um, having, like I said, healthy habits of, you know, returning back to something that you can recharge because like I still am facing it in my pro career, like to this day, um, having to believe in myself because when I first got here at this level, I wasn't sure if I was good enough to play at this level. And yeah. then um, once I realized that I am good enough to play at this level, and you took I realized that, yeah, like nothing can stop me. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And still I have my good days and bad days, but it's also very important to have people that support you and to not pay so much attention to the negativity that's around you. Think on the positive. Yeah, think about positive and always find a way to be grateful. If you can find a way to be grateful every single day, then it makes your day just that much a bit easier. Thank you, Tasi, for speaking with us. Have a blessed and good, and good luck on your season this year, man. And thank you very much for having me. I appreciate you guys.